Okay guys, welcome to this White Rose Maths PowerPoint presentation video tutorial on negative numbers, okay? So this is ideally for Key Stage 2 students, Key Stage 3 students, and also GCSE Foundation tier for OCR, Equate, and Edexcel, but it's also appropriate for the other exam boards such as SEA, WJEC, um, IGCSE, and any other exam board okay related to GCC foundation to your maths okay so let's get started okay get ready here is your starter okay so this is our starter question number one complete the number line I've got minus one zero one goes there then it'd be minus two goes there so minus two goes there and we got minus three Question number two, zero minus one. So start at zero and go to the left one. The answer you get is minus one or negative one. Question number three, what is three less than one? So you start at one and go to the left three. So one, two, three, you get minus two or negative two. Question number four, what is four more than negative two? So you're doing negative two, add four. Okay, negative two, add four. So we start at minus two and we add four. So we go to the right four. So one, two, three, four, and we get positive two, okay? Or just two, okay? It's the same as saying, positive four subtract two okay that would also work okay it's same as saying four take away two or positive four take away two which is just two okay white rose maths answer or answers I should say okay there we go okay that was our start okay hopefully that made sense okay Let's learn. Get ready for today's new learning. Okay, so we've got zero, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So these are what I call my counting numbers. Then we've got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Now, the key takeaway from today's video is as follows If I'm subtracting, I'm going in this direction. Okay, if I'm subtracting and if I'm adding, I'm going in this direction. Okay, that's the key to remember. Okay, so if I'm subtracting, I go to the left on my number line, and if I'm adding, I go to the right on my number line. Okay, so where have you seen number lines before? So, for example, um, on thermometers, okay, for the temperature of, let's say, um, a city region or the temperature of, um, I don't know, yeah, like, yeah, like, like, yeah, like temperature of like tea or coffee, yeah, if you're measuring like, like, yeah, like heat temperature, um, you, you could also say like, yeah, like bank statements, yeah, and like bank balances and credit cards, okay, so for example, like, if you spend more than what you have, you, you go overdrawn, okay, so these are examples of real life negative numbers, okay, there you go, also, I think, okay, if, you think if you think of it of any more, then put it in the comments below, what? Okay, so we got money. There we go. So Eva has ten pounds in a bank account, and she buys a coat, or he buys a coat for fifteen pounds. She now has minus five pounds. Okay, thermometer. Okay, so temperature. When the temperature <clears throat> is below freezing, so below zero degrees Celsius, it is shown as a negative number. Okay, the lift here. So I forgot about that. Actually, yeah, so lift. So for example, in hotels or in general buildings, like corporate buildings. Okay, you might have your zero, minus one, minus two, yeah, like the basement, okay, so on and so forth. Okay, you also got sea level. Okay, so negative numbers can be seen here to measure under the sea level. Okay, so the number line looks correct to me. Okay, so is this true or false? But let's look here. So this part is true. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's right. This bit is wrong. It should be minus one, then it should be minus two, then it should be minus three, then it should be minus four, then it should be minus five. Now, another misconception that students make is they think that minus five. 
is bigger than minus one. It's not. The more less you go on the number line, the smaller the number, i.e. minus five is smaller than minus one. Okay, so the more less you go on a number line, the smaller the value or the smaller the number is, okay, or the colder the temperature, you could say, okay, or the more in debt someone is, okay, if they're, if they're overspending, okay, we go, okay, there we go, okay, so it should be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, okay, there we go, okay. So a question now. How many degrees warmer is it in London? So we got nine and we got minus four. So if I subtract nine, I get to zero. Then if I minus four again, I get to minus four. So I've done take away nine, take away four. So I've I've subtracted, yeah. 13 degrees so it's actually 13 degrees warmer okay in london okay than it is in chicago okay the word difference okay always has to be a positive number okay so the sum that would go with this is i take the big number and then I subtract it from the small number. Now here, I've got, I've got to be obviously very careful here. I'm subtracting a negative. Now, if you take away a negative, it's the same as adding it. So it becomes 9 plus 4, which becomes 13. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this is using number line. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's a difference of 13, okay? Or 13 jumps, you could say. So four and then okay so exactly what i just did yeah, yeah but i did the vertical version okay there we go okay next part so you know this guys yeah okay so he's looking at some more worksheets okay so next question guys yeah so pause the video now have a think and then press play when you're ready so negative four plus five so i start at minus four and i'm adding five so i'm good to the right so one two three four five so is it, is it, it's gonna be positive one or just one yeah. minus four minus five so i'm going to the left remember if i'm subtracting i'm going to the left yeah. one two three four five it becomes minus nine okay. yeah. what's the same and what's different so the starting point is the same and what's different is that one is getting bigger and one is getting smaller okay if i'm adding i'm going to the right and if i'm subtracting i go to the left okay that's the key to remember okay one there we go okay there we go minus four plus five and I get to one okay. there we go right next one four minus six so we start at four and we subtract six so one two oops, sorry guys apologies sorry about that three four oops oh, I've made a mistake here I, I do apologize But hopefully you can see that the answer will be minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. Okay. That'll be minus two or negative two. Okay. There we go. Okay, so always use a number line if that's gonna help you guys in, in your exam or in your test. A bit more trickier now here there's a little trick that i can do this is the same as doing 27 minus 13 okay i, I, like I can i can actually reverse the actual um operation okay it's the same as doing that okay 
And if you're in doubt here, yeah, plug it into your calculator and check if you're not sure, okay? But this is actually the same sum, okay? The same as doing positive 27, take away 13 actually, which is exactly what this says here. The answer becomes 14, okay? So the answer is going to be positive 14. Okay. There we go. Okay. Next one. Okay, so complete the number line. Okay, so we go. So it is going to be minus 0 0.5. Actually, so, so it's going to be yeah, 0.5. Okay. Then that will be 1, 2, and 2.5. Minus two and minus two point five. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we've got okay. Okay. So this is the next one. Okay. Hopefully you got that. Right, next one. So what is A plus B? Okay, so look at my jumps here. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. Yeah. Now six jumps okay, represent a total difference of 16 minus minus eight which becomes 16 plus 8, which becomes 24. So 6 jumps, okay, makes 24, okay, as a difference. So if I do 24, okay, divided by 6, okay, let's double check here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps. Okay, so 24 over 6, 24, 6. Is equal to the number four, so it's going up in fours each time. Okay, for that. Okay, so what we're we gonna have? Well, we're gonna have minus four there. We're gonna have zero. We're gonna have four. We're gonna have eight. We're gonna have twelve. And we're gonna have sixteen. Then we're gonna have twenty, and then we're gonna have twenty-four. He, I hope that, yeah, he's making sense so far, guys. Then that'll be minus 12. And that be minus 16. Now the question says, what is A plus B? It says minus 16 plus 4. Okay, so I'm getting closer to 0. Okay, I'm going to the right 4. Okay, that becomes minus 12 or negative 12. Okay. For that, okay, it's the same as doing 4 take away 16 okay if you want to think of it that way as well okay same idea okay i get minus 12. Okay. the 24 is, is equal to six jumps okay there we go okay Next part, okay, so adapt your input, okay. This is the next part, okay. So what's it actually doing here, okay? Okay. So this is just some more practice, I think, yeah, more practice, okay. And these are other, like, you know, key stage two topics okay, that you may look at, okay. Right, guys, that's the end of today's video looking at negative numbers. Okay, I hope that actually made sense. Okay, any questions, any queries, yeah, put it in the comments below. Thank you so much yeah, for watching today's video. Okay, if you find it useful, please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you inside the next video. Okay, bye for now. Take care, all the best.